Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I convert my B-series Hasport mounts to fit my K-Swap MR2. Let's get started. All right, I'm gonna make a jig for this Hux sod mount to accept this Hasport mount as a trans mount. So first thing of all, First thing I gotta do is make a jig to hold this mount into place so I can convert this into to accept this. So let's start by um, fastening this down and then centering the holes for for the mount. So let's get started. Um, what I use is use a little vice grip. it down and then um, a centering punch and if you look it has a, a punch on the end and then um, I find the right size to fit in the hole and then I can center punch it and then um, I got this set from Harbor Freight it's uh, pretty cheap um, it's a set like that it has all different sizes that you would need but let's uh, Put some holes in it, and then, um, and then we'll get to the drill. All right, I got the hole punched, drilled, and then um, I marked it so I know where it goes. And then the next part of this is building the uprights to this location. So I got to get two pieces of metal, welded on here, drill a hole on both both pieces. And then I can align this. And then um, once I get that done, I can weld it on here and then try to locate where this needs to be so I can use it in my, in, in, in turn to convert this mount into an old passport mount. And I also found out that the width of this passport mount a B series, a D series, um, EG mount is the same width as an MR2 mount, so that will work out pretty good. All right, next step uh, after I drill these holes is I gotta put some bolts in it um, to locate this in the right position every time. So what I did is I ground down the ends of the, on the back side of it real clean because I'm gonna TIG weld this, and then um, I have these three bolts. That's, that's gonna go in here, like so. Well, you, you get the point. It's gonna go in like that. I'm gonna weld it the whole way around. And once, once it's welded, it'll pretty much look look like this. Try to do it one hand here. It'll look like that. And then I can just put my mount on onto it, and it'll fit every time. And then I, I know where it will be. I don't have to worry about it moving on me. And then I can I can bolt it bolt it down, and then make my my side fixtures. I got all those nuts in place. Now I'm gonna take weld it, and then I'll show you the result when I'm done. All right, got all the pieces welded. sink off and then boom now it fits in the same location every time all right in this step I'm gonna make the spacer for the bottom of the the transmission bracket so I'll just put a one inch piece of steel in my lathe I have just a small grizzly lathe Mill combo, but what I'm gonna do is and drill. I'm gonna center center drill at first uh, with a, with a, with one of these uh, center bits. Um, these bits will help you start to center a piece. Um, they have a real sharp 
point and then once you um, get that started and then you can drill your drill the side as you need you need so let's, let's start by drilling in the center just just to get it started all right that hole is drilled and let's change my drill bit to a one probably about this size um, this is a quarter inch drill bit then I'm going to final drill it with the the right size bit alright guys in this step I'm going to make the spacer for the bottom of the trans mount what I'm going to do is uh, I just put a, a one inch round steel just mild steel uh, round stock into my chuck in my lathe um, I'm going to drill it to the right size and when I'm done I'm going to cut it to length and then I'm going to weld it on to the base of that um, that mount the transmission mount so let's get started Just got done drilling the hole for that. Alright, turn it off. Make sure my whole bolt fits through. Fits through pretty nice. A little bit of room. Should work good. Now I'm going to cut it down to length on the chop saw and then finish up the finish on the lathe and it should be finished. Alright, guys, got the piece out. It's already drilled. And. Drop it in my chop saw here and cut it to length, and then should be good to go. Alright, guys, just got the spacer all cut. Should be good to go. Alright, guys, as you can see, I got all my bolts welded in. I made two uprights for the motor mount jig, all welded in. And then my original mount should fit in like so. You see it. And now I can start make the, the fixture fit the billet half port mounts for this plate. I also made a, a plate for the bottom here to insert there. I was gonna cut my my hux mount to modify them but I think I think that's be a, a waste of money in doing that because I can resell it and then I'm just try to get some of my money back for it and then use uh, the mounts that I made um, to to cut cost down and get a little bit of the money back but this is what it looks like and then now I'll go to the next step all right guys this is the the jig with the hasport mount on you can see I just made a, a little plate there and I made a, a bracket for the bottom of this To hold in in place, but you can see how the <clears throat> the jig works. Uh, these are Hasport B series, D series, E G mount. But that's what I got done so far. I'm gonna tack this piece up under there, and then probably make a bracket over here, and then. Finish weld it all up and then it should be good for the trans mount. Alright, got that piece welded up. Now um, what I'm doing is I'm gonna put a support bracket in the back here. It's gonna support this whole thing up. 
and that should be enough to keep it pretty sturdy um, and then I'll probably just gonna weld some some nuts under here and then the bolts will thread down into it and tighten then you don't have to try to get a wrench under there and put a, a, nut, in, a nut under there you know but that's where I'm at so I'm gonna make a little bracket for here from here to here and then weld it up and then I'll show you what it looks like then all right I got that little bracket made um, that will fit in there like that and I'll weld the, the top the side and the bottom let me get it in there better so you can see actually what it looks like should be like that right there and that should support that whole mount pretty sturdy because it's it's gonna be all TIG welded so let me tack that up and weld it in and um, I'll show you what's next all right guys I got that piece tacked up ready to weld all right guys here it goes it's all welded I didn't weld the inside on on that inside yet, but I didn't. I'm gonna. I ran out of my filler rod, so it's getting pretty <laughs> pretty short. So I stopped there for now. Um, everything should should fit up pretty good. That mount goes down like that. You get the idea. Um, I'll, I'll get some bolts on there, and then and I'll put it on the transmission to show you guys what it looked like. But that's pretty much it for the transmission mount. Um, I'll do another video on the other mounts, the the front and rear mounts, and uh, the passenger side mount also. But there it is. All right, guys. This is the the mount on the trans itself, and that mount's gonna be on there like like that. All right, guys. I just got the two spacer that I I made on my lathe, fully welded. So they are, and that's how it's going to sit on the trans. So let's get it installed. Alright guys, this is the finished product. I got the spacer welded on. Um, I, I, I made them out of steel. Um, unlike the, the Hux Racing one, they give you an aluminum one. So I made mine out of steel so I can weld it right onto my bracket. And then um, I don't have to worry about it falling out, you know, when I take it apart. It, it's always going to be there. It's going to be in the right place. But that's on there. All the bolts line up good. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I think I'm going to make a three-part uh, series on this uh, mount. I think I'm going to do this mount as one one video and then um, the front and back mount as, as a video and the passenger side mount as a vi an another video so try to keep it short not too long but um, if you guys enjoy this video feel free to like it share and if you're not subscribed already um, hit the subscribe button but this is the finished product passport mount off my um, B series um, custom made adapter plate for the trans. It's all made out of a quarter inch, quarter inch plate. All TIG welded. Have a good one, guys.